everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. <clears throat> Today I have a 10 by 10 inch canvas. I flooded it with a coat of house paint. It's Sherwin Williams house paint. I did thin it a little bit than the reg the regular bloom technique of base coat. And I will explain why in a few minutes here. So let's go over my paints. Um, I'm using a lot of the color uh, color art primary elements today and my first color is plumeria very pretty color my second color is kiwi of the primary elements my third color is uh, blue bayou again primary elements and then I am using a couple of the uh, interference colors, um, the blingets. The first one is the in interference gold. And the second one is the interference green. Again, by color art. Those paints are mixed according to direction. I used the Vivid Polypore with those paints. It was one ounce of the Vivid Polypore to about an eighth of a of the little scoop of uh, of the pigment. Mixed it up good. Now I have a couple other colors I'm using. Um, first one is Rust-Oleum Metallic Ruby. Very pretty color. And the second one is Glacier uh, Blue from Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents also. And those two paints, I did use my Bloom uh, Pouring Medium recipe, and I will put that in the description. And no silicone was added to any of these paints today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, layer my paints at the top. And I do have a topper, and my topper is um, one teaspoon of the... Uh, Amsterdam titanium white to two about two and a half or two and three quarter tablespoons of Floetrol and that's all I put in that so let's get started and I'm just going to like I said I'm just going to layer these paints at the top And I'm not really looking that much for lacing or anything in this. I'm looking more for the wispy look. Very pretty kiwi color here. Put a little more of that on there. You're all having a good day today. And this is that ruby, and I just love this color. I would really like for this to uh, stand out in this painting. And then I will put my two interference colors on top. This is the interference green. And I have the interference gold. Okay. And here is my topper. I'm just going to lay the topper right, right on it. And 
now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mouth blow a little bit down on this. Okay, now as you can see, I've blown down a little bit with my topper color, and I'm gonna let it sit there a minute, but I've also blown, just blown up a little bit with the co other colors, and I did not include that, that topper. So I don't really expect to get much in the way of uh, cells or lacing or anything in that. Just let it sit here a minute. Let me add a little more of the topper right here. And I just blew it down and over that ruby color. And I hope you're in, you're seeing this fine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my air compressor and I'm going to blow it down on this painting. And to even get it started, I'm just going to tip. And I'm gonna let that run down a little bit on its own. And that is why I made that base coat just a little bit thinner. Okay, and now I will start with my air compressor. And I'm going to hold the canvas up a little bit while I do this. This is all experimental to me. But I really do like the wispiness. And that's what I'm trying to achieve here by blowing these down. And again, I really like that ruby color. And I'm glad I'm getting some of it here. bringing down a few of these colors up here. I don't really want to get to my top where that blue and green is too much though. I, I'd like that to be like just at the top. Maybe just a little bit of the blue. You can see as I'm blowing that that there is some lacing underneath these paints. You can pull down as much or as little of the paint as you want. Okay, I'm going to just keep working on this. So 
a little hard to tip it and work on this side for me, so I'm just going to do it flat and then maybe tip it at the end. I found with the air compressor also, if you get really down on the side like this, you can kind of move a little bit more paint at the same time than just coming directly on top of it. Want to make sure that looks like there's something going on on the sides here also. This paint where you see I'm kind of diggling, digging in like a little canal, that, that will flatten out. And that's just because the paint is a little bit thicker. That house paint is a little bit thicker even though I did thin it with some water. I'm just going to tip it down here a little bit, see if I can get it to move. And this is what I like is that the wispy that I was talking about. And I am going to just tip a little bit the top just a little bit to see if I can get that to move. And I may just blow that a little bit. Okay, I just got a little bit more of that to go over the edge here. And I will torch it now. And you have to torch um, very fast with the house paint because if you leave it on too long, the torch on too long, you can scorch it. There is a lot of air bubbles. So sometimes you can take like your popsicle stick and just um, poke the, the bigger ones. I'm just gonna blow out the top just a little more. Okay. All right. Pretty happy with that.
and I will get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, this is the upper left-hand corner. And I'll bring you down here. The lower left-hand corner. Take you up the middle now. Very pretty how that all just came together. And this is the upper right-hand corner. Not sure if you can see the interference colors or not, but after it's dry, I'll have to show you the dried results. So pretty. You can kind of see it right in here, the interference green and the gold you can see in there. And I'll take you down the right-hand side. And what I did off camera is I, I noticed I had a lot, a lot of thick paint on this canvas yet, so I tipped it. And as you can see, I brought down that blue and that green a little more into the into the ruby and other colors there. I just, I like it a lot better. I think it's very pretty. So this is just a way to use your, um, your Bloom Technique pouring medium and just blow it down just to get a different effect, to get that whimsical uh, effect. And that's, that's really what I like streaks like that. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.